Hi everyone, I'm Kumudini and on this channel, I share journaling tips which help you for better mental health. In today's video, we'll be discussing about five types of journals which you should have at any point in your life for a better understanding of yourself and to have a better life as well. Before we go ahead, please understand that the whole point of keeping a journal or journals is so that you don't have to contain everything in your head and you can pour it out somewhere. Okay. Beginning with the first journal that you definitely should keep is a personal diary where you can note down whatever is going on in your head. It can be your feelings, it can be your emotions, it can be something that someone said to you, whatever is in your head and just call it brain dump. Put it out on paper in form of words. Moving on to the second one, you should definitely have a small notepad or a mini diary where you can note down all the random ideas that you have throughout the day. You can carry this journal with yourself or you can also keep a note tab in your phone where you can keep noting things down and then fairing it up in this journal. Your choice, whatever is more convenient to you. The third type is a planner where you can write down your to-do list, your monthly plans, whatever you have to get done, whatever you have to get from someone else, whatever plans you have about time management, about your day, about your month can all be contained in this one journal. Moving ahead to the third one which is a journal for gratitude, affirmations and manifestations. If you are someone who is not yet practicing gratitude and affirmations, I would suggest you do it. Don't do it every day, obviously it can get monotonous at one point in time, but maybe on alternate days or maybe on some fixed days, you can just keep a journal so that maybe months from now or years from now, when you look back and you go through this journal, you know exactly what was going on in your head and what exactly were you manifesting as well. Another thing is that when you are writing gratitude, when you are writing things that you are thankful about, you actually feel good about all that you have and you don't focus on the things that you do not have. Now, coming to the last form of journaling, which is sort of a favorite of mine, which is an art journal. Now, even as kids, we used to create. Look at all the walls that you colored with your crayon and you will know how much kids love creating. So don't let that go. It is one part of yours that you would want to hold on to and you would want to put it out in your journal. And the best part is that there are no rules. You can do whatever you want. You can draw, you can sketch, you can craft, you can cut, you can paste. Just go all out and simply create for the sake of creating. Okay. Now that you have an excuse to get some new journals, go ahead, stack them out and start using them also. Or if you already have some journals with you and you're not using them, this is your sign to go ahead. Subscribe for more tips like this.